don't like your manner, Clark. As for you, Morrell, I wonder if you happen to have one of those 1752 coins on you. Turn your pockets inside out. We'll do the holding up around here. Get that police off the bar. Steve Clark, though. After a height, but I got him. Good shooting, Trina. The satchel is there. Yes, I see it. It's too bad you got Rawhide, too. to the office. I'll head for the Golden Eagle and work on morale. What have you got there? Where do I get it open? Something the Raiders wanted. Record. Maybe we've got the evidence we need at last. This is written in German. I can read German. Well, this is written in some kind of code. <laughs> First Captain Clark, and now you. It's a lucky thing I don't object to being searched. <laughs> Wouldn't make any difference if you did, Morrell. Well, as a, as a matter of fact, I approve. I think it's about time we started to cooperate to drive these raiders out of the country. They tell me there are some Prussian spies mixed up with them, too. There's another of those coins dated 1752. Just found it on Hank. This is the kind of coin that Steve and me thought we might find on you. Anyway, I don't understand. It means that that waiter of yours was a member of the Prussian spy ring. Well, I think we've got what we want. If I could just find one, I could read. Hey, hello, Colonel. Did you meet up with those Indians? Yes, and I'm sure I'm satisfied. I've arranged for Chief Tahoe to come in tomorrow and communicate with President Lincoln by telegraph. Well, that ought to keep him in line. I'm hoping it will. Oh, uh, Kathy, would you get Idaho, please? What have you got here? Well, I think we've got a lot of information. Well, sir, I trust you're satisfied. There are no more Prussians here. We found this on Roy. He's lying out in the alley. Oh. That must be the raider who ran off with the money satchel. 
Did you find an old valise there? No, sir. Not a sign of it. One thing I can't figure, Morel. How come a man as smart as you are didn't wake up to the fact that the Prussian spies were using this place for a hangout? You want it in the Wells Fargo office, Idaho. Thanks, Kathy. By the way, Morel, if you happen to run into any more of these 1752 coins, save them for me, will you? Oh, now that I know where they are, I certainly shall. Thanks. Of course. Bob, don't let anybody come into my office. Whew. That was close. But I think we avoided suspicion. Idaho is not stupid. I agree. Neither is Captain Clark. But they found my coin on Rawhide. They'll suspect him. And the fact that the Raiders robbed me certainly will not make it appear that I'm their leader. Suppose Clark has that valise instead of the Raiders. That would be different. As it is, our secret records are well on the way to Ghost City. Unfortunately for us, Alex, that is not true. Steve Clark does have them. Kathy's been telling us about them papers. Ain't there anything you can read? Uh, none so far. Guess we'll have to send these to an expert. If we don't look sharp, that gang will have all our gold out of here. That's what I'm thinking. Got the Modoc smoking peace pipes yet, Colonel? We're having a council fire in the morning. That's good news. Say, Steve, I got two more of them 1752 coins, but none for Morrell. And so we have only the one chance left. Joe Burke. Burke's a good agent, Trina. But so far, he's been unable to arouse the Indians to the point where they'll go on the warpath. But an Indian attack here would let us move the gold. The good citizens will be too busy to worry about us. Sewell's return from Fort Loma has stopped that plan. But Clark's capture of our record gives us no alternative. Anyway, I have to leave Oro Grande. After Bart gets you a horse, tell him to continue to watch that door. Of course, Trina. It's time that Friedrich was told about this. Well, we're getting rid of Prussians at that. Well, two at least. Heine was hanged, he's dead. Platner was Bill, there's not a kick left in him. That leaves two more agents here. This Von Rugend and the one called Frederick Lance. No, three. You're forgetting the one called Von Merck. Say, one of these coins has that name in it instead of a number. Hey, Steve, what about this? Here's what we want. The American names of the German agents, where they're operating and what they're doing. Are there any we know? Yes, Kathy, one. Eric Von Rugend. He's known here as Alex Morell. He's probably gone by now, but I'm going to make sure. So, you see, we may still be able to get the gold to Prussia. Yes, Mr. Farge. But In Prussia, you would call me Countess von Merck. Do so here. Now, what is it? Your pardon, Countess. Do the records Captain Clark has tell the real secret? Uh, they don't mention me. That's why I'm staying here. That is fortunate for our cause. But, uh, I mean, is there any mention of Alaska? None. We can still use the gold here to buy it. And only Prussia still knows that Russia wants to sell Alaska. They've come to look for Morel. Mr. Morel ain't here. And Mr. Sarr says not to let no one in. She doesn't mean me. Out of my way. You owe me a dollar, Bart. Bart wagered that Captain Clark would come to see if my ex-boss was still here. I thought the captain was too smart. So I picked you. <laughs> this seems to be a record of all the gold stolen in this section. Well, you're sure, aren't you, that it hasn't been moved out yet? Yes, but they won't keep it here now. So we've got to find it before they can get away with it. Well, it has to be with the raiders, and that means locating their hideout. And he leads us to where they are. Look here, Steve. Why should the word Modoc be in the German description of this agent named Joe Burke? Kathy, you found something. 
They must have an agent with the Indians. Now I know the real reason why the Murdochs are restless. I'll accuse Chief Tohono of knowing this man, Burke. Well, that certainly should impress him. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm having him in to communicate with President Lincoln by telegraph. This morning. Abe Lincoln is dead. Find Morell. He's at the Modoc camp with Joe. Tell in the news. He'll know how to use it. Bart's just ridden away from the Golden Eagle. We figured this move right. I'll trail him. messages about the assassination. Well, you've got to get through, Dan. Chief Tohono will think I've gone back on my word, and that'll mean the war path. about this news. When you came here last night, I didn't think we had a chance. Are you sure this story is true? Telegraph's full of it. The assassination of a man like Lincoln can't be a rumor. No, I guess not. Sewell won't be able to make good his promise to Chief Tahuna now. That's fine. Remember, this is our last chance to get that gold out of Ghost City. It'll be on its way for Prussia in another 24 hours. the Murdochs this man is a spy from the soldiers and they can have him. Nescote, Scotia, Tahona. If the chief lets his braves kill that man, that'll commit him to war, won't it? It will. Him and the whole tribe. father has refused to talk to the Modocs. Instead, the soldiers have lied, as they always do, and have sent this man to spy on your tribe, so they can make the attack. You must make the attack first, while there are still so few, before more soldiers come from Fort Loma. What of him? He is yours. Do with him what you want. Skostanagate!
I'd hate to be you when they cut those trees loose.